유난히도 캄캄한다면 나 홀로 너를 생각하네 이런 기분 설명할 수 없어 원래 이만쯤 너와의 여행을 생각했었는데 Hello everybody! Welcome to Sir Chua's Accounting Lessons PH College Edition. So hello po sa lahat ng college students na nag-aabang din po ng lessons dito po sa ating YouTube channel ng accounting tutorials and uh, video lessons. So this is our orientation for cost accounting and control. So sa lahat po ng college students who are currently taking up this subject which is cost accounting and control. So I think this is your time no, para mag-subscribe naman <laughs> sa channel ko. Okay, so at the end of this video, you should be able to have a basic understanding of the purpose of this subject and enumerate the lessons and topics covered by the subject cost accounting. Okay, so before anything else, please like, share, and subscribe to Sir Chua's Accounting Lessons PH. And for all of your questions, comments, and suggestions, please put them down in the comment section below. For webinar and speakership invites, please send me a message at kevintroy.chua1994 at gmail.com. Okay. So, this is cost accounting and control. Ito pong subject na to ay dati po sa mga old curriculum, so kapanahunan po namin <laughs> nung college kami. This was formerly called cost accounting and cost management. And it, it was actually a six-unit subject. Ngayon po kasi sa ibang school, I think the CHED recommendation for this is three units kasi medyo iniklian siya. And the part of cost management, I think ha, hindi ko ganun sigurado, but I think the part of cost management is now part of strategic cost management which is another subject na three units but anyway uh, this course will discuss the technical methodologies in the calculation of product and service cost to be able to properly report items in the financial statements and to make better economic decisions ang cost accounting po ay magtuturo sa inyo kung paano magcompute kung magkano ang lahat ng bagay Okay, magkano yung ginagastos ng company for this specific product? How much does the company uh, spend on creating this product? How much shall we report like this, like that? Okay, so cost accounting is just actually the question, magkano? Okay, we will just be talking about that question. <laughs> magkano? Okay, kaya nga tinawag na cost accounting. Accounting for cost. Kukumpiti natin kung magkano. <laughs> okay. So, in the past, this was part of the subject in the CPA board exam, Practical Accounting Problems 2. Okay? So, magkakasama po sila ng accounting for government, not for profit industries and specialized industries. And then, magkakasama din po sila ng Advanced Accounting 1, which, uh, which is about partnership, home office and branches, installment sales, consignment sales, Advanced Accounting 2, which talks about business combinations, foreign exchange transactions, and then yun nga po yung ating cost accounting and cost management. Now, with the new CPA board exam, the new subject title for practical accounting problems too is advanced financial accounting and reporting. So, same din po yung laman ng advanced financial accounting and reporting, although minsan po yung cost accounting and control is lumalabas din po sa management advisory services, which is another CPA licensure exam subject, kasi both Cost accounting serves financial accounting and management accounting. And you will understand later why cost accounting uh, serves both financial accounting and management accounting. Okay, so ang cost accounting ay lumalabas minsan pareho or minsan sa MAS lang, minsan sa AFAR lang. So depende po sa ating mahal na Board of Accountancy Examiners for the CPA Board Exam. Anyway, we're talking about cost accounting and control or we can just simply call this cost accounting or with your friends, you can just call this subject cost. Tapos ang usapan. <laughs> Ganun lang. Okay, so I would recommend the following textbooks for you to use in your study sa bahay. So if you have copies of this, much better. Um... So, I recommend the textbooks by Michael Kinney and Cecily Ryborn, which is Cost Accounting. So, that's a foreign textbook. 
Also, there's a foreign textbook by Charles Horngren. And then, meron din po tayo mga local cost accounting textbooks from Elenita Cabrera and Gilbert Anthony Cabrera. We also have Norma De Leon, Ellery De Leon, and Guillermo De Leon. We also have from Dr. Gloria A. Rante of the Polytechnic University of the Philippines. Hi, ma'am. I miss you. She was my professor in Practical Accounting Problems to Review. I miss you, ma'am. How are you? And, um... from Professor Pedro P. Guerrero. So, yan po yung, kung meron po kayong mga kopya ng cost accounting na mga librong yan, you're on the uh, good side of everything. <laughs> okay. Uh, actually po, hindi po kayo kailangang mag-alala sa paggamit ng mga medyo lumang Uh, cost accounting books kasi hindi naman po madalas magbago ang cost accounting unlike sa financial accounting na laging nagbabago at very dynamic ang accounting standards sa cost accounting po kasi noon pa yan na pag sinabing cost accounting materials labor overhead nakatatak na yan sa bato okay although syempre we have emerging practices and we have new practices in cost accounting na baka wala po sa mga lumang libro kaya hindi naman po nagbabago ang mga textbook it's because of the new and emerging practices in the market and in the industry so it's still better to have a new textbook but uh, old textbooks would not hurt too much okay so for the grading system please check po yung inyong Uh, syllabus sa sarili nyong school kasi syempre hindi naman ako school ba diba? <laughs> uh, accounting video tutorials lang to sa youtube so wag nyo sa akin hanapin yung grading system ng professor nyo <laughs> okay uh, but the, uh, for those who are being handled by Sir Chua dun po sa school na pinagtuturuan ko kung saan man po yun meron po tayong separate na specific orientation sa ating pong online synchronous classes ayan so Ayun lang naman. Dami ko sinabi, di ba? Okay, sige. Diretso na tayo. At a glance, these are the topics that we will be discussing in cost accounting and control. So, first is, syempre, we will be introducing you to cost accounting. And then, we will be also talking about cost terminologies, cons cost concepts, cost behaviors, and the accounting process. And then, accounting for materials, accounting for labor, and accounting for overhead. And then, meron din po tayong activity-based costing and activity-based management job order costing, process costing, and the preparation of a cost of production report, and yung ating pong standard costing and variance analysis. Actually po, ang cost accounting ay mas malawak pa dyan. Meron pang sale of byproducts or uh, sale as is or process further na medyo sakop na rin ang management accounting. But uh, we will be focusing on these nine topics. Some schools or ibang syllabus po kasi na ibang schools, mas maikli pa nga dito yung cost accounting and control. But I think these are the topics na pinaka-essential para sa isang studyante, lalo na po sa mga accounting majors. Okay, so... First lesson is the introduction to cost accounting. So we will be defining and you will learn the nature and the purpose of cost accounting. And then what is the relationship between the three, which is financial accounting, cost accounting, and management accounting. So dun po sa mga ABM students na nag-take ng, ng FABM1, dapat alam nyo na yung relationship ng tatlong yan. At meron pa nga po akong video tungkol dyan dun sa mga FABM1 tutorials ko. Okay? And then, how do we use cost accounting information for managerial decision making? Okay? And then, we will also be discussing some cost terminologies, concepts, behaviors, and accounting process that you need to learn. So, um, what are the terminologies that are important for you to learn in understanding costs? And then, what's the difference between a variable and a fixed cost and a product and period cost? And then, we will be learning cost estimation techniques like least square regression analysis and high-low method. And then, components of product costs and inventories uh, to preempt you the components of product costs includes materials, labor, and overhead. And then how do we account for the transactions of a manufacturing company? So we will be learning journal entries, the accounts, and trial balance for a manufacturing company. And then we will be, we will be proceeding to uh, in the accounting for materials. So what are the different inventory systems that we can apply in materials? What are the different inventory valuations? And we will also be learning the EOQ model for inventory. For labor, we will be uh, learning how 
to cost or what is the costing procedures for labor. Siyempre, yung mga gumagawa po ng mga furniture, kunyari, kung manufacturing company ka ng furniture, siyempre, may mga tauhan ka dyan, may mga laborers ka dyan. So, siyempre, pasasahurin mo rin sila. So, paano, how do we compute for the uh, cost of labor ng iyong mga trabahador, di ba? And also, we will be learning about payroll and payroll journal entries. And then for overhead, we will be uh, learning about uh, different overhead rates like plant-wide rate or predetermined overhead rate, standard rates. And then how do we apply overhead sa ating pong product costs? And um, ano po ba yung, when you say variances, meron po kasi tayong tinatawag na applied overhead at saka actual overhead. So may difference po yung dalawang yon na matututunan nyo po dito sa fifth lesson na ito. And then we also have activity-based costing and activity-based management. So we will be learning the purpose of ABC and ABM and then what are the, dif uh, what are the different cost drivers and cost pools for certain industries and how do we allocate overhead costs and other support costs sa ating pong mga produkto. And then for job order costing system, uh, how do we uh, compute for the cost components for each job? And then what are the different production sequences? And we will be um, introduced to a costing document for manufacturing companies which is the job cost sheet. And then we also have process costing and the preparation of a cost of production report. Excuse me. Okay, so you will be learning about the first in, first out, and weighted average process costing procedure. And then we will be also computing the EUP or the equivalent unit of production. And then the cost per EUP or the cost per equivalent unit of production. And then we will be learning about allocation of costs using process costing and the preparation of a cost of production report. And then lastly, we will be learning about standard costing and variance analysis. What if the company uses standard costs and then how is or how are standard costs applicable for variance analysis and management decision making? So we have material price variances like material price variance and material quantity variance. We also have labor rate variance and labor efficiency variance and then the different ways to um, understand and to decide for the company's overhead using variances like one-way variance, two-way variance, three-way variance, and four-way variance. Okay? So, yun lang po ang laman ng ilalagay natin dito sa ating YouTube channel. So, again, please like, share, and subscribe to Sir Chua's Accounting Lessons PH. And then, for all of your questions, comments, and suggestions, please put them down in the comment section below. And then, for webinar and speakership invites, and any other message that you want to send to me, then please send it to me at kevintroy.chua1994 at gmail.com. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pong suporta sa Sir Chua's Accounting Lessons PH. Muli sa Panginoon lamang lahat ng papuri at pagsamba. To God be all the glory, honor, and praise. And uh, stay safe po tayong lahat sa ating mga baga, ba, baga, <laughs> bahay. Stay at home, stay safe, ingat po tayong lahat. This has been Sir Chua's Accounting Lessons PH, College Edition. Thank you and have a great day.